Vishal Mitra, I am here in the beautiful backwaters of Kerala, near the town of Kumarakung. You can see the palm leaves and the houseboats operating. And you can possibly see the vehicle I'm in over here. It's called the SUV and it is the Mahindra Thar Rocks. A car that was almost called the Mahindra Thar 5. And why was that? Well, this is the five-door version of the Thar. And for one, you can make out quite clearly, it's a lot longer than the uh, three door. I've got 400 millimeters more space. And if I open the door now, I've got these door handles on the seat pillar. And you can see this triangular piece of glass with some Easter eggs. The car climbing ahead and the camel, you know, parking back to the heritage of the car name. So if I get in, I've got a handy grab handle to get in. Let's get in. And rear legroom is pretty good and the front seat is pushed all the way back and I've got a huge panoramic sunroof right now. The curtain is covering it and I'll talk about it more in a bit. But I'd also like to show you luggage space. One big complaint about the Thar 3 door was the lack of luggage space. Now I apologize, the pit may see we put all our stuff inside. We've opened the luggage rack. It's a half opening like it's good and I've got enough space. It's camera bag here, my knapsack here, and of course our food bags over here, but a lot of space. You can also see the speakers at the back. There's a big subwoofer out here from Harman Kardon. This car is quite comfortable and we'll get to that in a bit while we're driving. Now, we should really be on our way back to Kochi and our hotel. So let's get going. And I'll tell you about the car while I'm driving. So I'm driving through God's own country and I have to admit God also gave this country God's own drivers and Kerala is a very dicey place to drive and that has given me a chance to experience uh, advanced driver assistance systems that are there on the AX7L variant of the Mahindra Thar Rocks I'm driving. The automatic emergency braking has kicked in a couple of times because people have just cut across the road in front of me. Um, ADAS is a great feature. I'm getting more and more used to it. And this car has ADAS. And this car has a lot, lot more. A digital instrument cluster where I've got navigation in the middle of the screen through Android Auto. A huge infotainment screen. If I go to the settings over here, you can see I can even adjust the audio through various modes, uh, the quantum logic sound, studio modes, everything I can do over here is pretty cool. And that is because I've also got this nine speaker Harman Kardon audio system. You can see the tweeters are even built into the door handles. This is very unique. I mean, usually tweeters are over here on the A pillar, but of course they may not have had the space. But this is so, so cool. Um, and the big feature that this car has is this huge panoramic sunroof, which Mahindra said is the largest panoramic sunroof in a C-segment SUV. And make no mistake, this is a C-segment SUV that will take on the likes of the Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara, Hyundai Creta, and Kia Seltos, as well as the new Tata Curve. But those are slightly fundamentally different vehicles because this can also function as an off-road. The Mahindra Thar rocks though, is primarily a lifestyle vehicle because now it has all the creature comforts but also the looks outside as i showed you uh, earlier so you know i've got a ventilated seat i've got a fantastic air conditioner i have this huge panoramic roof but the proof of the pudding is in the eating how is this car to drive and i must admit i'm been pleasantly surprised by the drivability of this car despite the 400 millimeters extra length this car feels very i wouldn't call it agile necessarily but there is no palpable body roll as i take it through these twisty roads of central Kerala. and these rural roads are really narrow they're really twisty and this car doesn't roll about as much and I'm always, always taken back to the first generation Scorpio back in the day when I drove it through Kerala many, many years ago, almost 20 years ago now. And that car, my God, that car used to dive whenever you braked hard. It used to roll whenever I took a sharp turn. It used to slow down before turn. This is fairly good. It's fairly nice to drive. And most importantly, Mahindra's work on the NVH of the car. You may not be able to hear too much car noise because the three-door thar 
is not a very nice car to drive in the city at times because it's so so loud because it's got these chunky all-terrain tires this car has the same all-terrain tires but it, i don't hear much tire noise inside the cabin there is some engine noise and that is to be expected but mahindra has worked really really hard on reducing the nvh and also improving ride quality because the roads over here have also like any monsoon they have been affected in parts and this car uh, velu from mahindra told me how much he has worked on the new platform which they call glide for this car it really does absorb a lot of the bumps i'm yet to take it off road i haven't driven the 4x4 model what i am driving right now is a top end ax7l with the diesel engine and a six speed automatic gearbox. We don't know the price of this car as yet, but the manual AX7L with the diesel engine costs 18.99 lakhs. I'm talking about the rear wheel drive only. So I expect this particular car to cost around 20 lakhs ex showroom, about 22 lakhs on road when it does come out. And as I said, rear legroom is fantastic. Maybe not a five seater for long distances because you can't necessarily you don't want to be the guy in the middle but you got a lot of luggage space again addresses a huge issue that the thar three door had very minimal luggage space but this car has good luggage space comfortable at the back fantastic audio system everything you could possibly want this is a proper lifestyle suv but mahindra calls it the suv because not only does it satisfy your lifestyle needs it also satisfies your need for going on rough patches of road and even off-road now how will the car do uh, rajesh j judikar the executive director of the automotive and farm sector for mahindra and mahindra told me that uh, they have ramped up production for on the thar line to nine and a half thousand units every month uh, currently, the Thar 3 door with both the 4x4 and the rear wheel drive, which is have 50 50 mix, uh, sell about 6,000 units a month. So, and they will balance it out. They expect more of the rocks to sell as well. So, I guess they will be able to sell many, many units of the rocks. They don't expect that many 4x4 versions of the rocks to sell because they expect the mix to be more skewed towards the rear wheel drive models but this is a fantastic car now the other question is will it cannibalize sales of the scorpio n and the xuv 700 i certainly think so i think this is a better buy than the scorpio n if you don't need a third row or the larger space of a scorpio n uh, you've got all the features the scorpio n the top end versions of the scorpio n have such as of course adas and the fantastic audio system which is a sony on the scorpio in uh, top model but everything you could possibly want and this is a comfortable car mahindra says we only have a 26 percent share in the 12 and a half lakh plus segment uh price band of the suv market and they said the thar rocks will cannibalize some of the 26 percent but will also increase their market share they expect this car to take up their market share of SUVs up to a, buy at least a third of the Indian market. I fully expect this car to do well. I know um, many people have asked questions, but it's a lovely car to drive. And that's the most important thing. If a car is good to drive, it should sell very well. And Mahindra has priced it really aggressively. Now let's get back to Cochin and I'll give you my closing thoughts about this car. So I have been driving the AX7L diesel automatic for the last two days. And I think this car comes fully loaded with the panoramic sunroof, with the brilliant JBL Harman Kardon audio system and everything. But let us look at some of the negatives of the car. Firstly, there is no high spec petrol model available. The petrols close at the MX3 level. So you only get a petrol manual in MX1 and a petrol automatic in MX3. If you want ADAS, if you want the panoramic sunroof, you have to get a diesel automatic. Now that could be an issue for buyers in the NCR where diesel cars are only allowed to be operated for 10 years. One reason for that is this is a very heavy car and the petrol will obviously be a gas guzzler. But Mahindra does spec the car very well, even at the lower trim levels. You can get ADAS, for example, as low as the AX3L model. You also have the AX5L model. 
and the panoramic sunroof is only an option on the top end AX7L as I've been driving. On the whole, this is a fantastic car. It fills a gap for Mahindra in the four and a half meter long SUV segment. And because of its big, boxy, chunky looks, it's a car that many people will obviously consider. As I spoke about yesterday, Mahindra is very confident with the car. So I generally think it will do very well. I hope to drive it for a longer period of time later in the year, possibly take it a bit off-roading. Now is a chance for me to get around a bit and discover Kochi a bit more. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll give you some vignettes of Kochi coming up.